I recently learned that the witch in Hansel and Gretel is totally misunderstood, actually. This whole time, she was never really evil. She just spent so much of her life building the house of her dreams, and then two greedy, spoiled kids decide to come over and eat it. I mean, is there any wonder why she was all like, Oh my girl, do you have any idea how long it took to build that house? Get your butts out of my business. <laughs> Hey guys, what's sizzling? It's Daniel, or Dan, or Danny, or DP, or whatever you prefer to call me. As long as it's not hurtful, welcome to another episode of Friday Night's All Right for Chatting. In this episode, I'll be sharing my summer plans with y'all. Summer. That one time of year when the sun gets hotter, the days last longer, the pools and beaches are open, and school's actually out for longer than two weeks. School's out for the summer! Sorry, I did show choir when I was in high school, I just can't help it. Of course, there's no such thing as summer without amazing summer plans. Every year, there's always a number of super fun things that I do. And now, Friday Night's All Right for Chatting proudly presents... Some of the things I'm planning on doing between now and late August. Let's begin with what I'm doing right now. No better time like the present, am I right? No day but today. Sorry, again, show choir memories, I really can't help it. I'm currently finishing up an online summer college course about theology. This is one of two summer college courses I've taken, the other one being last year. As for this year's summer course, well, it's been interesting. Because it's literally a semester's worth of material in four weeks' time, everything goes by really fast-paced. Therefore, you have to work really, 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 really hard in order to catch up. In fact, I would actually argue that even though the course starts in late May, I would start in late April. However, with that said, the material I've been learning has actually been very interesting and sometimes extremely enlightening. And I've also been doing really, really well in terms of work and grades, so that's a huge relief. Once this weekend passes, I'll be free as a bird to enjoy everything else I've planned this summer that's actually fun. On the day before the 4th of July, my town's hosting an early fireworks display. I'm really hoping that I can bring a friend or two to this event, if no one's busy. Also in the first week of July, I'll be working as a counselor's aide at a summer day program for kids ages 3 to 14. This program has different kinds of classes for different age groups, and just like last year, this year I'll be helping out with the musical theater course which is with some of the older kids. My hope is that, also just like last year, I'll have a total ball. Boing, 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 boing. Later in July, I'll be participating in the composition program at the Atlantic Music Festival. This means that I'll be spending two weeks on a college campus taking composition classes, master classes, and seminars, and also working with a festival chamber ensemble on a piece of music that I've written. Oh, but you can't be a composer, you're a music performance major! Okay, well in that case, may I lend you my open binder? Now can you please do me a favor and shut it! Then right on the day I get back from this composition program, I'll be seeing the national touring company of Dear Evan Hansen. On the outside, always looking in, will I ever be more than I've always been? Just under a month later in August, I'll be heading to Nashville, Tennessee for a performance trip with one of the choirs at my college. This should be really, really, really fun because I haven't been on a choral performance trip in two and a half years. Oh, you gotta get out more. Once again. Open binder? Shut it! Okay, so those are all my definite plans for this summer. Of course, in between each of these things, I hope to add some more fun adventures with family and friends. Who knows? And now for something completely different. I'm going to share with y'all my top 10 summer memories and experiences. Being in a summer youth theater production of Pippin as King Charles. Attending a summer program for college prep and life skills where I made friends with whom I'm still in contact to this day. Berkshire Choral International. Taking a two week theater seminar abroad in the UK. 
all of the fun times I've had with family and friends at Hermit Island Campground. Participating in the vocal program at the Boston University Tanglewood Institute. All of the fun times that I have with family and friends at my grandparents' lake house. Berkshire Coral International Saratoga Springs, New York. Attending a totally amazing theater and music camp in New England. Being in a youth theater production of Les Miserables School Edition as Chain Gang Soloist, Ensemble, Confer, and Jolie. Well, that's the end of today's episode. What are your summer plans? Please feel free to keep the conversation going by either dropping a comment or a video response with hashtag FNAFC. Don't be mean, though. I'm watching you. If you like this video, please feel free to click the like button. If you want to follow me on more of my adventures, please feel free to click the subscribe button. And also, please feel free to ring the bell if you want to be notified when my next video is up. Also, I've left links to all of my social media pages in the description below in case you want to follow me on social media. Alrighty then, thank you all for watching, I'll see you next week, stay awesome!